In this video, we're going to show you how to leverage saved searches and auto emails from command, and that will also tie to their consumer app. So first thing is you're going to want to come into a contact card individually. So I am on one of my cards that I'm using as a test. And under save searches on the far right is where you're going to see any searches your clients have created. So if you want to know, are they using my app or are they using my website? And maybe they created their own email or notifications to about a certain search, you'll be able to see that here. Now, one thing is you can't actually click the little trash can. Notice it's grayed out because since the consumer created it, you can't delete it. And that's okay. At least I know, hey, Jay Cermak is using my app and I could see he's searching for things that are homes near him in this price range. He's got a saving list of Chicago homes, beach condos. So I could see everything that's being done. Now I'm going to come here and create my own saved search so I can create my own auto alert and notification for him. So I'm going to come here to create saved search. This is my ability to search by neighborhood or zip code. So if you're in an area that doesn't have the neighborhood set up, you can do it by zip code. So I'm going to put in 33308 is one of my options and that would show any property here that they can find a property that meets their needs in this zip code. I can also come to find on a map, search for a location. So let's say I'm looking by their address. There we go. I can see the address here. And if I zoom in, I've also got the ability to see, oh, okay, you're in this neighborhood. And you told me, you know what, I actually want to move over here to Knoll Ridge, Imperial Point, and this area. Perfect. So now I've selected more than one neighborhood so now I can close that map and I've got multiple neighborhoods selected so this is great that you can now set up a search area for maybe around where they want to live from here the price so let's say my budget is 450 to 550 keywords now I could do something like pull however I'm not sure all the other keywords work just yet this is a simplified search Property type, well, I know he's only interested in houses, so I can get rid of all these other options. Perfect. Okay, I've got just the single family home. You know what, only show them active properties. I don't want pending to show up in the list because they're under contract. I know specifically we're looking for a three bedroom, two bath or more. And that's really the main thing I'm going to be looking for. Now, yes, you can do year built. However, in my area, most of the homes are not built anything newer. Um, living area, you can put in as well. So if I know I want at least 1,200 square feet or more, right, maybe 3,500 square feet. Perfect. You can check the box if it has parking, open house only, or price reduction. So maybe you just want to set up an alert only on homes that have had a price reduction. You can do that as well. All right, this is a simplified search. Remember, it's not all the categories of the MLS. However, it is something to get your clients started with and encourage them to use the app and website to create their own searches and look around for properties that they want. So now I'm going to click the next. When you type in a keyword, you have to hit return to actually have it selected. There we go, for it to show up in the category. Good to know. Next. Okay, what am I going to call this? Authority characteristics, I'm going to say single family home. 3, 2, 450K. What's the primary email address for the client? Now, if you need to change that, you would edit the contact card. And then here's the send email notifications. Now, you can set it to be instant, which gets it within 30 minutes, a daily summary, weekly, bi weekly, or monthly. Now, some of you have said, hey, I'm in an area that I can't use the monthly neighborhood nurture. However, couldn't you use this to kind of show them properties of what's happening in a neighborhood and narrow it down more specific to market update about single family homes or whatnot? So that could become a bi-weekly email, once a week email, even just a daily summary of what's happened, or I could set it up for instant. Click create saved search and your client's going to get an email right away telling them, hey, here's what's available that meets your criteria. Now I've also got the ability to come and edit this now that it's been added. So I can come in and edit and see, okay, I want to make some changes to it. Maybe we actually want to get rid of the pull option and show more results. Next. Again, I'm setting it for instant, save, and my client's going to get an email. And I do have the option to delete it. So if I didn't actually want this to go through, I can hit delete as well. 
Now that I've set this up, here's what your clients are going to get. So here is the email that came to me, automatically generated, that says, hey, great news, I've created a saved search for you, just for you. I'd love to hear what you think about these homes, and as, much, as always, don't hesitate to reach out. So they can view their saved search. It's got my information here, reminds them to download my app, and they can view the saved search here. So all that search criteria went to my website instantly, encouraged them to log in, and now they can see the properties that meet their needs in this specific area. So I love that that's all tied in. It will do the same thing on their KW app. They get an email notification, and it is a way that you can set them up on a search or a monthly alert, and anything new that comes in from now on is gonna come in as a brand new, hey, here's a brand new listing that meets your needs. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, follow me on KW Connect and YouTube today.